Once the buttons are in place, that should, yes, that's nice. That is what I want. I wonder if it will stay without me having to. So here is the Mac that I am going to be making shorter. Okay. This is going to be challenging, I think. But let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can create. So first of all, I'm going to try it on and talk you through my creative process of ideas that I think I will be applying to this project, which is what I do in my channel. I don't necessarily know all the time what the end result is going to be, but I like to push myself creatively and um, create something a bit different sometimes. And hopefully it's going to be a project that will inspire and motivate you to do something similar and to also see the possibilities that we can actually change one garment into another garment and it still looks new it's you know wonderful that we are i'm going to shut up in a minute i am <laughs> it's wonderful that we are actually thinking about garments that are already out there we are refashioning them we're upcycling them and creating a new garment so it gets another life yes colleen Colleen is done. <laughs> okay, so, uh, right. The first thing is to try on, turn back my creative process, come back, and then we'll start cutting. So let's get to that now. So here is the Mac. Um, the belt, I think the belt's too too thick I think for the, oh, I don't know, hmm, maybe not. I like the back, I like the fact that it's in two pieces, two sections, I do like that. I do like the belt. But we are cutting this short. Happy with the belt. But, it's the pockets. See, I do want the belt to be part of the shorter jacket. But we've got belt loops here and the pockets are here. And I really can't mm, pull the boot. Or maybe the belt loops could go off onto this section here. That could be interesting. But I'd have to cut above the pocket. Um, is that a stain? No, just some thread. There is um, some stains on, on, on this, in the pocket area. Uh, there. I do launder my um, thrifted garments and try my best to get them out, but there's some on the back as well, at the hemline area. Oh, right. A little bit short in the sleeves. But I love these buttons. These buttons are gorgeous. I think these buttons complement the colour of the matte butt. You want to shorten it. So I can only go as far as here. Or maybe I could cut here, go up and across. Mm, that'll be interesting. And then I could tie that. Interesting, and then because I don't think this will actually. If I actually got the belt loop and sewed it onto this flap here, I don't think that will work because it would interfere. I do like how that stands away. I do like. Button. I like the button detail and the 
about hmm okay this is going to be uh, a long thought out process <laughs> right I'm going to go with my idea I'm, I'm going to give this a go okay so we are going to cut or me across here cut up to avoid the pocket and cut all the way around the back do you think that will work well let's give it a face and go now underneath so I can fold up I'll do do excuse me I'm just thinking this through in my mind so but I just need you to understand this is the reason why I do these videos that this is the thinking process that goes in in any project that I do so I just want that to be part of the whole process so rather than me just saying coming along saying oh this is what I'm going to do um there will be times when I do that but not yet so yeah I do like the idea of rather than just chopping straight across let's see if we can just create this angle that's happening that what I could create here to avoid the pockets and come right across the back and I do like this belt to be some kind of feature at the back as well so let's get back to the cutting table and um, let's see what what happens okay where do I start um well first of all I'm going to remove the belt that's easy and let's focus on the coat it's this belt loop I think that's doing that's kind of like not an issue but do I need it? yes because I'm trying to minimise waste and I like the belt I like the fact that it's in two pieces and I also like the fact let me just show you quickly that it can kind of manoeuvres I like that that's nice right so we're going to keep the belt loop I don't necessarily want to unput the belt loop and then just fold it back up here fold it to that section there which is a possibility but it depends on what you'd want to do with this section and I like the fact that this sticks out a little bit so I don't want to interfere with that I do like that feature so that's staying so that is an option but I definitely want the belt to be part of this so there may be a little bit of waste but only going to be along here so I'm trying to create a facing so I'm happy with the fact that I'm going to go ahead and cut so we're going to cut along here cut up and then straight across to where the belt loop is and then I'm going to cut let's be further down from the belt loop and straight across see it's got stains in it in a pocket area I'm trying to avoid at the same time okay so let's get started so I'll cut the front first I need to make sure it's flat because I'm cutting the lining as well at the same time so I'm going to bring you down now so you can see what I'm doing I actually thought I was filming this so I've already cut one side <sighs> so I'm going to because it would be let me just kind of like do this in reverse so to speak so like I've cut this already what I would then do is place that on top like so so I have a template to which to cut the other side that's how I would have done that 
making sure I match that up and then I'll get my scissors and then cut following the first cut that I did. So that is how I would do that. Like I said, I thought I was filming but I wasn't. So I'm going to... Hello fashion sewers, I hope you are well. If you are new to my channel, I'm Colleen G. Lee. My channel's all about inspiring, motivating and sharing ideas to upcycle fashion. So if you are into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Not only that, I'm on the Patreon platform where there are three, yes, three different levels that you can join, link in the description. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Ooh, well that's nice. I do like those cutouts. Yes. Side. That's nice. I do think I may lend these things actually. Buttons need there needs to be buttons on the cup here. Which there were two left in the bottom section of the Mac, so I'll put those on, but I like that. happening here. I do like that. What do you think of the back? Yeah, okay, it's a bit skewed with. We get the point, don't we? It's 
one is there. It's how I'm going to finish off these edges. And so it's going to be hand sewing. Yes, I said it. <laughs> I had what's happening here as well. Maybe we should cut this bit further up. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's cute. That's nice. Here. I also like the fact as I'm putting these folds in the back. That's nice. So I might just make sure that's a permanent thing. But I'm just not sure about these. It's not well done. I don't. I don't know what thought design, thought process was for this, but I don't. It's it's not doing it any justice. So I'm going to take those out and see what I can do. But at the moment, I'm liking what is happening here and here. It's how I'm going to finish up the raw edges. But it's different. I like that. But this has to go, I think, somehow. Okay, so what do I need to do? I'm going to take these out and see what that looks like. I'm going to lengthen this piece as well. I'm just going to pull down the base in here on the sleeve. See what that looks like. These are just we have to do something with these, don't we? It's just not working. Okay. So, it definitely looks like it's going to be hand sewing involved in... Mm, maybe not, actually. Maybe I can actually sew and then maybe just put a hand sewing at the bottom of this section here. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Just to make it easier for you guys. And also me. Okay, let's get this completed. Okay, let's just take the belt off. Happy with that. I don't have to make any kind of adjustments to that. That's fine. Put that to one side. Now we're talking about removing these tabs aren't we because they're, they're not doing anything for my new jacket so I'm just going to remove those and then see what it looks like and lengthen I'm going to actually lengthen the sleeves by just taking down the turned up hem I should say it could be a hem it could be a facing Okay, so we've got those loops that are happening there. They're staying for sure. Let's just have a play around with these. Maybe it could actually, yes, tie it like that somehow. And that may be better. And then put the button on like that. That's a good idea. That'll look nice, won't it? Yeah, I think that'll look, that'll look nice, I think. We'll give 
that a go. I'll put a pin in. Let's see what that looks like. Should we give it? Yeah. Okay. That idea I'm happy with. Now I just need to remove the lining from the turned up hem and see what that looks like. Let's try this on for a second time. Oh yes, the length of sleeves are a lot better. Yes, but this is not bad actually. Tying it in that fashion. I think I could work with that. I think it's better than it was before. Yeah, I like that. Yes, I do. Let me see where's um, the button. There we go. Yeah, I'm happy with that. That's okay. Just needs to press this. You're going to have a crease line there anyway. And I'm going to lengthen it just I'm not going to lengthen it. What I'm going to do is add a strip of fabric from the bottom half of the coat and then place it under like so and then attach the lining to it. Because the lining isn't the same length as... What could I actually get away with? Possibly could actually. Scrap, scrap that idea. Because it is long enough. Yeah, I'll just sew the lining to here. Yeah, that's okay, that's fine. Button. Happy with that. That's okay. It's fine. This is okay. Yes. Okay, so now it's just a case of sewing the edge of this jacket so Okay, there we go. It is nicely aligned. Let me just show you. <laughs> that's that's what you're looking for. It needs pressing. Yes, it does need pressing. So you have a very narrow hem on the inside, but you won't. You should not be able to see too much of the lining, and that's nice. Then you just repeat it to the other sleeve. That's it. Okay, so the sleeves are done, which are good. We just need to finish off the hemline to this jacket. So we are going to put the jacket, to, oh, let me see. Okay. It was a case of me, the buttons, I had to remove the buttons in order for me to be able to do that. Okay, right, let's see. I have to remove the buttons so that enables me to encase the jacket within itself, but this is preventing me from doing so. So I'll remove the buttons on both sides, yep. Yeah. But before I do that, we want to make sure that 
So once I've removed the buttons, we want to secure or stabilize these corners, these corners here. And I don't want to get too much into technical aspects of sewing. So I will get a little strip of lining from the coat, the bottom end of the coat, the one that we are not using, and just cut that in half. We don't have to be accurate whatsoever, because it's going to be hidden inside. And what I'm going to do is that when I come to sew, I'm going to put this on each one of the corners. And that's just to stabilise the corner when you cut into it, so it doesn't create that dim, or it lessens the dimpling effect on the right side of the jacket so um, I need to remember to do that so I need another two and then that will be done so I'll remove the buttons first of all The buttons are now removed. Let me show you them. So we've removed all the buttons. Well, not all the buttons, the ones that are going to create a little bit of a problem. We turn it on in, in on itself. So now we have the lining, which is bigger than the actual jacket itself. And the reason for that is just for the fact that you don't want to distort the garment, it happens with all jackets and coats where it's slightly bigger. So I just want to create a little tuck here. Yeah, that should be okay. I'll put a pin in there. And then what you're going to do is then flip the jacket within itself, like so. So you've got that better access to this area here. And then I'm going to pin it's almost like you're bagging out, I don't know if you've ever heard that technique. So the jacket is inside of itself, so to speak. I know it looks a bit strange, but just bear with it, it's, it's right. If you're following my instructions, you should be okay. And you just keep pinning all the way to the other end. The jacket is now inside of itself. It's hidden, you can't see its features. So you're creating like this roll and I've pinned it all along that edge. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine, I'm going to get these little tabs here. I don't want to get too technical but it's like a tool that you would use for these corners to reinforce them so like I said earlier it stabilizes those corners. So that's how I'm going to position it. So, so across there and there, right around there and down and all the way around. I'll show you that on my sewing machine.
Okay, the bottom edge of the jacket has been sewn. Started on the front. I haven't sewn across there because of this issue really. And the buttonhole. Um, so yeah, just a little bit of hand sewing that needs to happen there. Um, the tabs, these little stabilizers. And how do I get into the jacket? You are wondering. Oh, I need an opening. So I'm going to give myself an opening. So we go into the sleeve lining. Let's see. I have sewn. Yeah, just checking to make sure I've sewn that one. Okay. Seam upper. And we're going to open up a seam so that we can pull this through. Oh, this looks awkward. I don't know what they've done here. How have they sewn this? There we go. These stitches are minute. Okay, then you put your hand in, you reach in for the jacket and you pull it through the sleeve. Just take your time. Oh, I did forget, I need to clip the corners. I do need to clip these corners. So let me just go back in. And then just clip into the corners. Like so. I'm going to release some of the top stitch in here so that will enable me for when I turn it to the wrong side to do um, a straight stitch all the way around the bottom of the jacket. So just release some of it. Just take your time, it's no there's no rush. I have pressed. Nice. That looks so nice. I haven't pressed the back, like I said earlier, I just want to see how it looks. 
and I also haven't pressed the inside here I haven't pressed this one I want to see how that looks as well so I've just pressed along here along here and the bottom edge here and on the opposite side as well to see how that looks and obviously I've got to add the buttons back on and now I need to do the cuffs and put a button on that so it's a case of getting this cuff and then threading it through like this and creating some kind of a situation like that yes that's nice yep happy with that that is nice and get a button and sew it into place and sew all the other buttons that are missing and then i'll try it on but i want to try it on before i put all the buttons on so um the buttons are going to go i probably i will sew the buttons on to the sleeves because that's not going to take me too long and then try it on because I need more time to sew on the other buttons and also to hand sew here as well close and also the sleeve needs to be hand sewn closed yeah just just excited about these buttons so I'm going to sew those in position and try it on Okay, here goes. Ooh, I'm liking that. I need to sew the in. <laughs> My hand just got stuck in the lining there. I need to sew the lining. Okay. Oh, I do like. Oh, yeah. I am liking this. Yes, yeah, sleeves look so much better now. I've had a bit more length to it. Okay, so as you can see, it is not pressed. I pressed there, and that side, and that's not pressed, and that is pressed. And the back is not pressed. That looks okay, actually. And right, let's see what the belt does. So I'm wanting the belt to play a part in creating this puffy effect that I want for the back, lower hem. And then, let's see if I need to press the other, the hemline. Okay. Needs to be added again. Let's see what's happening with the back. You can just help me out here. It's a vibrant jewel lining, that would be nice. But no, I think I'm going to press that. Yeah, 
maybe press it. Let's get this button a bit centered. Okay, let's turn around. Mm. Yeah, that's that's what I want. Yes, the belt is lying a bit further down in order for me to get this effect. This is what I like. So once the buttons are in place, that should yes. That's nice. That is what I want. I wonder if it will stay without me having to interfere with it too much. I'm going to press that. Yeah, I'll, I'll press it because it will be a lot sharper. And I like that. I'm the same on that side as well. That's nice, I like it. I do. I like what's happening with here. I just need to figure out how to tie this a little bit better than what it's happening now. Since now it's on my natural waistline. And that sticks out. Yeah, I'm going to press that. I think just tie this in a knot, I think. Some kind of knot situation like that. Yes. And press. Yeah. I'm liking that. That's nice. compared to how it was. Yeah. Oh, I've got the buttons on. I think if anything, I'd probably wear it all the way, buttoned all the way up, actually. You know what, I'm going to tease you. You you will find out how I'm going to style this and see what this looks like when it's pressed. And also the back. I'm happy. Yeah. And, and do something with this knot. Kind of bone knot thing might happen here as well. I need to experiment with that. So my Friday of the week videos is where you'll be able to see me styling this and find out the situation that's going to happen with this and how this actually looks as well. And the back. <laughs> yes, I love it. I know I say this all the time about all my projects. I know. I know, honestly, I do know. But I just want you to be inspired. I just want you to be motivated. I just want to remind you that we can make new garments from old garments. And I hope I'm getting that through to you on my channel and you're sharing this information because you can create some amazing stuff. I am so inspired. I'm sure as you realise, as you watch all my videos, that... I'm genuine, genuine, genuinely got there, just about, um, not surprised, because I've been designing in, <laughs> for many years, many, 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 many years, and I've also helped other people, um, but it's the first time I've kind of gone down the path of truly appreciating refashioning upside down garments. Have I done these? Um, in the past, yes, I have for myself, and I've also taught other people how to do it, but I've never really gone into it and kind of got to the point of thinking, Wow, this is another skill level. It definitely is another skill level that needs to be taught at schools, colleges, and university level. Um, if we are going to stop filling this planet Earth with old clothes that are perfectly wearable and should be refashioned in order for us to enjoy the crapmanship that went into it in the first place. And yes, I know I'm going on and I'll stop.
so if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and please do share don't forget to click the uh, subscribe button which is under the like button and also before i go as well do i have anything any tips to share with you i would say this project is about experimenting so follow each step and then wherever you think that you want to do something a little bit different for yourself go ahead and do that like i've just shown you here now that i was going to leave the back unpressed and a section at the front unpressed and now that i've fitted it um i don't think it's i don't think it's working for this project but it doesn't mean that it may not work for the project that you are going to be working on or the jacket because it's all about the fabric as well and if you've got interesting linings and just give it a go and if you don't like it like i don't then just go and press um yeah just experiment and i will see you next time thank you for watching